Anything about yellow fruit? Okay, let me show you this. Tom Golden blew the whistle 
on Operation Yellow Fruit. Uh, <coughs> normally in intelligence operations, you're advanced a certain amount of money to operate with. Uh, once you spend that money, uh, then you must submit a voucher to, uh, to account for it. What I found was very unusual in this unit is people have been advanced as much as uh, $150,000 and had never submitted a voucher for accountability. I eventually went to my superiors and reported what I believed to be abuse of funds and uh, possibly fraud. Uh, that eventually was, uh, was surfaced to the leadership of the Army, who ordered a massive investigation into the uh, Special Operations community in general. This is Arlington Hall, Virginia. Headquarters for U.S. Army Intelligence. Here, members of the SOD team were court-martialed in a soundproof room. Two SOD members are now serving prison sentences for financial fraud. But what was most important about these trials was not the discovery of another case of misuse of government funds, but the revelation that the SOD's yellow fruit served as the blueprint for what William Casey called the Enterprise. The Special Operations Division and Yellow Fruit had a unique access to equipment, material, offshore bank accounts, a secret clandestine uh, army slash CIA aviation unit, a clandestine ship overseas to provide transportation, uh, access to material and weapons, all the seeds that would later basically erupt in the Iran-Contra affair and be known as the Enterprise. And I believe that Yellow Fruit and the Special Operations Division were both being groomed by the CIA and the National Security Council to serve as the cornerstone of the enterprise to perform operations in Central America and elsewhere that would never be accounted to Congress. Lights, please. <laughs> now let me tell you who Yellow Fruit really is. Yellow Fruit, along with Sea Spray, are accountable for security of the alien task projects. They started out as Delta teams attached to the National Recon Organization at Fort Carson, Colorado. Over the years, as their expertise became known and they began to use Delta teams for other things also, they branched off and became independent from the National Recon Organization and from the United States Army. They then evolved into a split organization, one half of which became Sea Spray, the other half became Yellow Fruit. Sea Spray is responsible for the internal perimeter security of the alien projects. Yellow Fruit is responsible for the outer perimeter security of the alien task projects. If you attempt to get near the boundary of Area 51, you will meet yellow fruit. They will intimidate you. They will scare you. They will flash guns in your face on public land where you have every right to be, and they, most people, will go away, which is the prudent thing to do. <coughs> now, <coughs> if you get to the boundary of Area 51 and put one foot across, you are now the property of sea spray. And no one who sees sea spray ever sees anyone else. Where do you think they get all this money? From drugs. If you look at all of the things that the secret teams have been doing, Look at all of the covert operations that we've been performing, and then look at the budget for these things, and you will see that Congress has not even allotted 10% of the money that would be required to carry out what they have been doing. In the words of John Lear, whom I consider to be one of the greatest patriots in this country, Wake up, America. You've been had. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.
information at the back table. We have some tapes. Uh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, this is our only source of income while we continue our research and do this, is the money that we get from people who come to listen to this information and the money, the sale of materials and tapes. When possible, when we have the extra money, we do make tapes which we give out to people for free with the stipulation that they never charge anyone for tapes and that they make at least five and pass them on to other people. If you purchase a tape from us, we want you to make copies and give them free to other people. If you purchase documents from us, we want you to copy those documents and give them free to other people. But we need your help. If you can afford it, please get the information. There's bibliography is attached to the documents, to the tapes, there's not. Um, I want you to go research this material yourself. Start reading. Start looking into it. Don't believe what I'm telling you until you find evidence to support it in your own research. Then act. Do we still have some free tapes back there, Stan? There's still some free tapes. I don't know how many we've given out. Most of them already. We have five left. Okay. Also, anybody who wants to order a videotape of what happened tonight, who do they see? Who do they see to order tapes? Oh, Stan. See Mr. Barry. Make a check out. Okay. And give it to Stan. It's right on the card. Thank you. I wish you all love, peace, happiness. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Please be truth seekers. Yes, sir.